Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming on this Veterans Day. Uh, first, I want to start off with the Pledge of Allegiance. BFW, sick one to attention. Present arms. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ready to. I'd like now to call up Father Ray to do the invocation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you today for all of the men and women who have served in our armed forces. We are grateful for their dedication, discipline, faithfulness, and courage. From them, may we learn the virtues of selfless service, unswerving loyalty to country, the discipline of teamwork for the good of all, obedience to authority, and perseverance in difficult and challenging situations. Bless the families of our veterans for the sacrifices made on the home front when duty called their loved ones away to serve. We pray that you will provide your care and healing power for our veterans who carry physical and mental wounds from their days of service. We lift up to your care those families who have lost a member of our armed forces in the line of duty. May your constant presence and help be theirs. And we pray that today we will be able to express to our veterans our gratitude for their service to us. Keep our servicemen and women strong and determined. And as we thank you for them, we look forward to the day promised in your word when our Prince of Peace will rule on earth and when the bearing of arms to protect our citizens will no longer be necessary. We pray this in the name of our strong and powerful Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Cover. Okay, please be seated. One of the things that we always talk about on Veterans Day is the distinction between Veterans Day and Memorial Day. It's important to recognize that distinction. Memorial Day is a solemn day for us. It's a day that we remember and we give thanks to all of our soldiers and sailors and Marines who gave their life for the country. But Veterans Day, we honor those veterans, all veterans who have honorably served. And that's what today is about. It's not a solemn day. This is a happy day. So to all the veterans out here, I say thank you. And do we have any veterans in the audience that are not part of the BFW or our part? And just if you raise your hand and just be recognized that you're a veteran. Well, we, the BFW also thanks you for your service as well as the community of Washington Township. Every year, the BFW holds a contest. It's called the Voice of Democracy and another contest called Patriots Pen. This year we did not receive any entries for Patriots Pen, which was uh, grades six through uh, eight. But we did receive entries for the Voice of Democracy. And the, this comes down from an, our national organization, the topic, which was why is a, import, a veteran important? Well, a Washington Township Junior, Lindsey Meyer, came out top and she, she was number one. And number two, that we awarded was a Jessica Kenyon, who was a sophomore, both from Westwood High School. Lindsay's essay, which consisted of an essay, written essay in the spoken word, was excellent beyond belief. And I've invited, along with, along with uh, I've invited that I invited her up here to to speak it to you because it's very compelling. Uh, she is also awarded a $500 check from the VFW for her future needs. So I'd like to introduce Lindsay Meyer. Can you please come up and read your essay? Hello, 
Hello, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Why are veterans important? A lot of people think of different things when the word veteran is used. Some think of movies, others think about history. But when I think about veterans, I think about my neighbors and all the stories they tell. I think about my grandparents and the tricks they have learned. I think about the people that walk past me in the streets and the secrets they promise they never show. There are a lot of things that come to mind when the word veteran is used. When you are looking on the streets, you could never know the horrors you never had to encounter, the hard choices your grandparents had to make, the regret the person on the street must have, and most people will never know. You never know what has happened until two people that have been in the same situation have sat down to talk, confided with each other, and tell each other stories that they would never tell their families, stories they wish they never lived. As you sit in your history class, and listen to your teacher go on and on about war after war, you never truly understand the whole story. You never understand the perspective of the person below water watching for other vessels, or the person in the sky looking for other aircrafts, or the person on the ground watching their every step. Something that you'll never hear about through document analysis and reading. Something you can't help but wonder if your, his but if your history teachers are truly able to teach something that they have not experienced. Sometimes, Something that they learn from another history teacher through another or from reading document, textbooks and documents. You can't help but wonder what didn't get put through books, what got lost through the game of telephone. That is why I think veterans are important. They, they have lived through some of the hardest times, whether that's up in the air, down to the ground, or below water surface. Who are the best teachers for those who have lived through it? Without them and their sacrifice, our histories would be different. Our veterans are there to make sure we don't forget, to make sure the new generation is learning and understanding. They are there to teach us the right histories, the ones that you'll never read in books or learn in a classroom. They will tell you the stories of the people they have met, the terrain they have traveled, the condition they worked in, and the aftermath of it all. When I sit with my grandparents and talk to them, I tell them stories. I tell them what I've learned in history. I listen to every word as they tell me stories of their friends and family they've made. They tell me of the little jokes and pranks they played on each other, and the way he used to dress, and the letters they used to send back, and the trinkets he brought with him. Our veterans are important to understand our future, to understand our past, and to understand what we have now. They are our protectors, from the time we were little, where we never truly understand, to the time where we really start to learn about our past, to time where you truly understand the sacrifice that your neighbors have made for everyone on that street, to everyone in that town. To, able, to be able to walk down the street, get food at the grocery store, or garden in your garden, to understand the sacrifice that made for you the freedom to learn understand, the ability to make good choices and sometimes bad, they have played a role in making that possible. In making your family be able to sit and eat at the di dinner table and talk about their day, they are the people that will continue telling our stories the right way, in the way they know it, and teaching people how to understand and appreciate what you have. That is why veterans are important. Without some part, without them, some parts of our history and our past would be lost. Thank you so much. Have a happy veterans. Okay, excellent. I also want to recognize today we have Romero with us. Uh, our new administrator, uh, Mark. Call him. The, okay. <laughs> <laughs> With a name like Second Alfie, I should know that. Uh, uh, who, uh, uh, Police Chief Skinner's here. And Councilwoman Velez. Councilwoman Velez. So I want to recognize them and thank you very much for attending. Next thing I would like to do is to invite Mayor Colin Murray if he would like to say a few words. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, before I get into my prepared statement, I just want to say, Jeff, thank you for putting me up after such a tremendous speech that you know I can hardly follow. Uh, when I need a speechwriter, I know who I'm coming to. Excellent speech. Thank you so much. Uh, also, I want to thank everyone 
here, especially the scouts. Um, you know, it's really something that you all turn out for a veterans event. Uh, I'm glad that uh, the scouts are instilling the importance of Veterans Day and hopefully many other holidays. Uh, it's really great to see everyone here because this day should be more about than just a day off for those who still work. Um, you know, it should be more than just sleeping in an extra hour or shopping or something like that. You know, on all holidays, we should keep in mind, you know, spend one hour to think about the true meaning of the holiday. Uh, I know everyone here does that, so what I'm saying does not apply, but, you know, please instill that in everyone you talk to is, you know, holidays are me meant for a reason, not just for, as I said, sleeping in, going shopping. So, thank you. Thank you all for taking the time to be here today in honor of Veterans Day. As Ronald Reagan once said, freedom is never more than one generation from extinction. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on to our children for them to do the same. A veteran is the personification of this idea. Each and every citizen of this country owes a debt of gratitude to the brave men and women who serve in uniform to protect our freedom, our very way of life. And so, more than a century ago, a time was set aside to recognize our veterans. The 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, a historical moment commemorating the ending of World War I. Generations since have paid tribute to every soldier on this day. Throughout the turmoils of history, our military personnel have stood as beacons of strength and patriotism. From the beaches of Normandy, to the jungles of Vietnam, to the deserts of Af Afghanistan. They have answered the call with a willingness to serve and sacrifice for the common good of our nation. They have left family and friends behind, knowing that they may never return, because they believed in the ideals of our American democracy. They believed in freedom, believed in it enough to fight for it, to protect it, and to lay down their life for it if necessary, so that their fellow countrymen could live in peace. Today, we must thank all our veterans, as well as ensuring their post-service lives are worthy of the valor they have shown. Whether they come home with a physical injury or a mental health one, we must endeavor to help them find access to the health care and assistance needed to remain productive members of the society they defended. Every liberty we enjoy rests on the shoulders of these soldiers. And in turn, we owe them opportunity to live the remainder of their lives with dignity and pride. To close, I would like to leave you with another quote from Ronald Reagan. Some people live an entire lifetime and wonder if they have ever made a difference in the world. A veteran does not have that problem. Thank you to all our veterans today and every day. I would also be remiss in mentioning in our post, uh, 6192, that we do have an active duty member, Vince Thierry, um, that is currently serving on active duty, and he is a member of our post. Uh, there are other veterans or active duty folks in town. We don't know them all. We wish we did. We wish that anybody that could hear us on Washington Township Television or whatever, let us know if you have a family member from Washington Township or Westwood or the area that's, that's in the service. Let us know that stuff. It's important for us to know, not from a, a privacy issue, but we might have access to help you get in contact with them if you can't. So things like that. Also for benefits when they get out. That's another important thing. We're all about veterans and that's what our post is about. You don't have to be a member of the Veterans of Foreign Wars to come to us and say, hey, I have some questions. I need some help. We're there for you. In fact, our Bergen County service officer, who is a, a person that's trained specifically to help veterans and their veteran spouses and their families, dependents, get the benefits that they're entitled to, he's a member of our post. Uh, his name is Sean Hutchinson, another important person to know. And the fact that he's in Washington Township, all the better for us. Also want to recognize that the scouts are here because that's kind of an important thing. You know, a lot of military officers that go to West Point, Annapolis, and things like that, they get selected, they get congressional appointments, and that goes into a factor of a weight, a factor for them to get selected. 
Um, the fact that they were a scout, or an Eagle Scout especially, that's a big thing. Eagle Scouts do things. Eagle Scouts do projects. Eagles, an Eagle Scout did this project here for the Veterans Memorial. Um, they get things accomplished. And because they can get things accomplished, that puts them on the next class up, a level up to uh, seeking an appointment. And parents, seeking an appointment to a military academy is not a bad thing because you're not paying a dime and they're getting paid the whole time they're there. <coughs> and I should note that we have a member of our post, Stephen Kalish, who happens to be on board in the academy, uh, in the West Point, and I believe he is also on Congressman Gottheimer's selection or nomination board. Just a little, little tidbit for Washington Township. Okay, next I'd like to call up our Senior Vice Commander Tom Sears to present an award. Good morning, and thank you all for coming today. Um, the Pulse has been doing Vietnam Veterans Recognition Day for about uh, three or four, uh, three or four years now. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's to recognize Vietnam veterans. Um, I'm not going to go into the story about Vietnam veterans, how they were treated uh, when they came back. But there, there's a story here to be told about what a particular religious group is doing for the veterans. Um, and during the war, Vietnam War started, there were people that volunteered to fight to do the patriotism. There was people that were drafted. And there was one or two of us that were told by a judge where we were going, you know? <laughs> so uh, I happened to be the latter. So I wound up in the Marine Corps. But uh, needless to say, we uh, Vietnam veterans over the years have really fought for the veterans. PTSD, Agent Orange. Um, Without them saying enough is enough with the VA, they have not made changes, and we were the beginning of the change for the VA. And there's support. We have a lot of support out there. And today I would like to recognize the Bethany Community Center. Pastor Pat, can you come up? So we have a plaque dedicated to the Bethany Community Center. VF Post 6192 in the Township of Washington would like to recognize Bethany Community Center for their continuing support of our veterans in the Township of Washington and throughout Bergen County. This plaque is presented to you with great appreciation. Post 6192. Thank you. And also to go along with that, we have a donation to the Bethany Community Center for your continuous help and support during our March 29th Vietnam Veterans Day. So please pass that along to Mr. Bliss. Thank you. Okay, lastly, well, second to last, third if you count the benediction. <laughs> when the town purchased uh, our building um, 12 or so, 13 years ago, we kind of lost a home, a home that had a lot of history to it, and we really didn't have a place. We've been meeting at the Knights of Columbus and things like this. Well, where I'm getting at is when this Veterans Memorial was built with all the names and now a beautiful gazebo, it kind of feels like we're back home or we have a home now. Now we, have, we will have a place to go, not only veterans, but everybody, citizens, to go there we can chew the fat with another veteran. We could look at names of people that we know, parents. I know my, a lot of my parents' friends are there, and a lot of my friends' parents are there on those uh, uh, bricks. So we have a place now, 
and we want to recognize that we have a place and we appreciate the effort that was done to create that place. Uh, again, as I said, Eagle Scouts are important. Eagle Scouts do projects. <laughs> With that, I would like to ask the mayor to come up here, please. VFW Post 6192 on behalf of the members of VFW Post 6192. We're proud and honored to be able to present you this check for $10,000 for the Veterans Memorial Foundation. Uh, on behalf of the library, uh, which I have sit on the library board, I am happy and thrilled to accept this check on their behalf. Uh, yeah, I know it will go to good use uh, you know, in defraying the cost for the, uh, the uh, gazebo, thank you, um, and, and any other things that you know, we can do for the veterans out of this building or the location. Uh, you know, it's, it's very important to all of us who sit on the board and the library workers and everything. So on behalf of them, again, I thank you for this. Okay, last and certainly not least, um, Pastor Pat. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Um, before I just uh, pre-prepared benediction, I just want to say thank you, Jeff, for inviting me to, uh, to give the benediction. I, I don't take these opportunities lightly. It's really an honor and a privilege, and I never thought in a million years I'd be a part of such an amazing community. Uh, being able to do what I do um, as, a, as a pastor and as someone who just loves being a part of a community. And so thank you to all the veterans who are here today. Um, I honor you. I thank you. I know I don't get to stand here doing what I get to do without you doing what you've done. And so for that, I, I honor you. Um, yeah, this is awesome. And thank you for the, the plaque. I was not expecting that, Tom, but I know I speak on behalf of Bliss, our community center director, when I say thank you for giving us the privilege of being able to partner with the VFW. It's an honor, truly. So... Can you all bow your heads as we close in prayer? Father, today we honor our veterans. And these are worthy men and women who gave their best when they were called upon to serve and protect their country. And just as it was already said, today is a day to celebrate what they have done. I think about how many times in the Bible, Lord, you told the nation of Israel to remember what was done for them, how you brought them out of slavery, how you brought them out of Egypt, how you provided for them every step of the way. And there's something about remembering that we would do well, Lord, to take heed of. We remember today, God. We remember today the sacrifices that have been made, Lord, on our behalf, and we don't take those lightly. So, Lord, it's my prayer that you will bless these men and women for their unselfish service and the continual struggle to preserve our freedoms, our safety, and our country's heritage for all of us. Bless them abundantly for the hardships they've endured, for the sacrifices they've made, for their many different contributions to America's victories over tyranny and oppression. Father, we respect them. We thank them. We honor them. We are proud of them. And we pray that you will watch over these special people and bless them with a peace and a happiness that passes all understanding. And finally, Lord, I invoke the words of your servant Moses on all who are gathered here today and those who could not be here today. May the Lord bless all of you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon each and every one of you and be gracious to you and your families. And may the Lord turn his face towards you and give you everlasting peace. Father, may your kingdom come and may your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. All praise be to you, God of grace, God of mercy, God of justice, God of peace. King of kings and the Lord of lords. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you all so much. Okay, this concludes our ceremony. We have coffee and donuts that were provided by uh, Fresh Grocer. And uh, we appreciate them as well. And enjoy. Have a great day.